Greetings, and bienvenue, Midna crew. Thank you for returning to this broadcast. And welcome to new viewers joining us for the first time. If you like a video, then feel free to subscribe. Hey, X. I'm stuck at work with nothing to do, so I figured that I would unload some experiences from my adolescence that have remained more or less unexplainable. I'm hoping that someone here might find them interesting and or offer a potential explanation. Be me, 8 or 9 years old at the beach with my family. Playing with my mom in the sand, building sandcastles and shit. Decide to dig a really deep hole for whatever reason. As I'm digging, I begin to hear a distinct high-pitched ringing noise, similar to tinnitus. Eventually, move away some sand to see something bizarre in the hole. There's a face staring straight up at me from the sand. Face looks faintly human but a bit flatter, and seem to be coated with an outer layer of sand, rocks, shells, and other beach debris. The face had two small beady black eyes, no discernible nose, and a an long thin mouth lined with tiny needle-like teeth like a piranha. Basically looked like an evil beach-themed version of the thing from Fantastic Four. I vividly remember the eyes blinking several times, and its mouth moving causing it to squirt out a few small spurts of liquid, presumably water. After staring at it for a long moment, my mom extends her hand to touch it for some reason. As she's about to touch it, the face begins to undulate, sending a sizable glob of sand falling down the hole, obscuring the thing. We tried to dig it back up, but it had disappeared completely. I've tried figuring out what the thing I saw was, but yet to come across anything that resembled the face in the sand. Does anyone have a similar experience or know what that thing could have been? Another story, unrelated but still strange. Be me, a year or two later. Friend is sleeping over at my house. It's late, everyone is sleeping besides me due to issues falling asleep. Laying awake, looking out the window. It was a cloudy night, so the moon, stars, etc. weren't visible. Suddenly, I see a bright flash of white light in a fixed spot in the sky. The flash then morphs in shape and color, greatly resembling photos of a supernova. It looked like a suspended explosion, wrapped in pink, white and blue, green light. As soon as it appeared, it imploded on itself, leaving no trace whatsoever. I've never seen or heard of anything like that happening to the naked eye before. Also, I live in the south so I really doubt it was an aurora or anything like that. What did I see, X? An alien ship? The government shooting something out of the atmosphere? Anyways, thanks in advance for reading, and for any possible ideas you have as to the origin of these things. Also, Feel free to post any of your own stories, or screencaps of ones you found interesting in the past. I'll share one I remember from when I was very young. There is no jump scare or monster, just something creepy from my early youth. Be a child, too young to be in kindergarten. Have an imaginary friend, his name is, Ghost. No red flags there am I right. Be laying in my room in the dark one night. My parents told me it was time for bed. I wasn't having any of that. Laying on the floor with pillows and blankets because I thought it was cool. Kinda felt like I was camping. Talking to Ghost, he says he wants to show me his family. Look under my dresser and can clearly see all these ghostly white and spectral green disembodied heads. Did not look pleasant. Like they were shrunken or beheaded or something. They didn't move or say anything just kinda sat there. I can still vaguely see them to this day when I think about it but can't describe how they looked much better than that. Too young to think it's weird or be scared. Just accept it. Ghost wants to sleep over. Tells me I have to ask my parents. I go to the top of the stairs and holler down to the living room where my parents were. Mommy, Daddy, can the ghost sleep over? There is a pause Dad yells back up something like yes just go to bed. Excited, go back and tell the ghost. And that's about it. I live near an abandoned psychiatric hospital. 
We will refer to it as psych, and have had some super strange experiences. This is one of my later experiences. Be me in high school with friends. We get off the bus and immediately head to psych so we can smoke. Me and four others, RJ, Tom, Lucas and Devin. Head into the building. Everything seems normal. Start heading for the roof. RJ and I are having a conversation separate from the group but still following behind. I need to tie my boots. RJ and I hang back. Finish tying up then realize the group is nowhere to be seen or heard. After hastily trying to catch up to the group in the only direction they could have gone, we called them. Somehow they are now on the opposite side of the building about three to four floors above us. We catch up with the group and think nothing of it even though the building is huge. Get to the roof and spark the joint but everybody seems kind of jumpy for some reason. I distinctly hear footsteps the entire time. Nobody else hears them. I'm starting to make everybody nervous. Finish the joint and decide to exit the building because we're all sort of jumpy. Get to the exit and Lucas is last one out. Lucas yells, ah WTF, and presents a scratch all the way down his forearm. Lucas is kinda dumb so we thought he scratched himself as he jumped out the exit. Exit is a window about 7 to 8 feet high up with debris piled up in front to get in and out. We begin conversing again and forget everything that just happened. After all we are outside the building, home free right? All of a sudden we hear what sounded like an EMP from a sci-fi game ring out all around us and at the same time we see an orange wave basically scan over the entire landscape around us. All of us fucking running for our lives. Naturally running in a single file line. Devin who is directly in front of me goes, oh shit, and falls on his ass while looking at something to his right. I look where Devin is looking and have the exact same reaction. Oh shit, there's a figure probably somewhere around 5 foot 9. Pitch black with radio static around it. Feels horrible to look at. I still get crazy chills when I think about it. I pick Devin up and we catch up with the group again down trail. In the woods, none of us are talking, just want to get home. Woods are eerily quiet except for one bird that is repeatedly singing a strange tune all the way up to the exit. That's the most blatantly supernatural experience I've had, and it was in the building we still think of as the safe house on the property. Was watching TV, suddenly the TV was displaying my vision, creating two mirrors facing each other effect. Just as it occurred to me what the fuck I was looking at, my phone in my lap started vibrating, and the TV displays started to change, starting from the smallest, most distant and going sequentially toward me. As it got closer I could see that the camera, my vision, was pointing down to a cell phone with my friend's face on the screen. I wish I had the forethought to not look down but without missing a beat and on time with the sequence of TV views I looked without thinking and it was her. I don't know if it means demons, or simulation, or I'm just losing my mind. Have a few, gonna post at least one. Be me. Like 14 or 15 summer, before 10th grade year, so like 2013 I think. I've been staying up all night like I do every night in the summer because I'm a unhealthy gamer. I never missed sleep, just had a near nocturnal sleep schedule and had done that shit like every summer since I was like 11, so no hallucination. Walk out into the living room, stretching, yawning. Just moving about and shit, like 7 a.m. Walk past the couch, full of random shit, from the basement, moving soon. Sister's old leapfrog brand leap pad goes off and starts making the intro song, like when you would open it. This was an early 2000s children's electronic learning toy that was interactive and would read you stuff, tell you if you got your answer right. It looks like pick related, 
not sure how new the image I'm using is. Isn't supposed to make noise when closed, God knows how long it's been since it's been used, shocked that it even could make noise, and then it hit me that it shouldn't be. I did nothing that would have bumped it or anything, didn't touch it to make it do anything etc. Just walked past it and stared at it for like a minute, kinda of freaked out. Take it back, downstairs in the basement. I sleep. Freaked me out a bit. I was really tired. Leapfrog Anon here, may have posted this one before, but I don't know, can't remember. Be me, small toddler. I used to go visit grandma on my dad's side, a nice old lady, kinda odd but nice. Lived in a giant historic house that my uncles bought her. The house is on a mural on the back of a plaza in town. Dexter, Montana. I used to always bring my ball and play with it up and down the hallway right in front of the door. In that hallway was a staircase that went up, always gave me weird ass vibes and I would try to never go up, couldn't even bring myself to look up the stairs all the way, just acknowledging it filled me with intense dread. The house is an old historic roadhouse. I think there are many bedrooms upstairs. Years pass. I have dreamed that I am upstairs in the upper hallway with the bedrooms. Dad came running through and a demon was chasing him and jumped on his back. The demon looked like the skeleton thing from the pick related meme, shadowy black mass of a body and had a normal skull as a face with a spiky black shadowy hair, helmet like mass on the cranium. Jumps on my dad's back and starts to push him down. Dad goes anon, help me, help me anon. Wake up freaked out. Few more years, pass, grandma has passed. Go up to the house to look around and see what we have to do etc, like seven or so this time. Family going up the stairs. I am very hesitant. Mom made me go up anyway. Intense anxiety and dread still. Get up to the top, the upper hallway which I have never been up to in my entire life prior to that looks exactly as it did in my dream, lots of white doors and old timely green wallpaper, nice door trim etc. Fucking jaw drop stunned, couldn't fucking believe it. Fast forward to a few years ago. 20, on the phone with dad one night. He gets to talking about his mom. Start talking about how nice the old house was, you can't get M built like that anymore, etc. Mentioned how that staircase used to always scare the shit out of me as a kid. Said he remembers me being really scared of it every time we would go. Told him about that dream I had, described the demon in detail. He goes. It's funny you mention that. Oh fuck, no.png. Says one time before I was born, he was passing through and stopped in to visit mom. Started to rain real fucking bad, he didn't want to be caught up in that on the road anyway. Apparently the walls were super thick and made in dimensions that they don't really do anyway more and there was brick underneath the wallpaper and shit on all the walls, and he could still hear the rain pouring the fuck down, and normally you wouldn't hear rain. Goes to sleep upstairs in a random bedroom, mom just told him to make himself at home. Sleep. Wakes up at like 2 a.m. The closet is open, it wasn't open before. Just staring into the black mass of the closet. I think he sees movement, like a shadow moving amongst the shadow of the interior. Is really freaked out now. Suddenly a skull face with a spiky black shadowy head slowly rises up from the foot of his bed and stares at him. Dad freaks the fuck out pulls himself up and starts rebuking him in the name of Jesus Christ. The family was Pentecostal and very much so. Goes on and on shouting rebuking it for like a minute, it does not move, just stares unaffected. Some time passes and my dad is about to fucking lose it. In a deep growly voice it says. I just wanted to make sure. And sunk back down. No movement passed then, no sound. Just sank past the view behind the bed. Dad stayed up until sunlight. Never told anyone about it until he told me that night. I worked as a fish and game trooper in Oregon for a few years. 
quit eventually because I highly underestimated the amount of negative encounters you have with hermits on the river. If they're not shooting at you from a bush they're screaming for help and dying after being attacked by something or plugging up some waterway with their corpse. The only paranormal thing I've seen in my life, and I'm sure of what I saw, was a white birch along the shoreline of a river I was surveying. I'd gone up that river a lot and had never seen it before. It was a pretty hot day in the summer and I was looking for typical shoreline damage and erosion from the winter months. A lot of those ways don't get traveled for almost a full season or two by anyone who will report the important stuff. I was surveying the river far head through some binoculars and I saw this white birch standing out. It wasn't far enough away that it could have been something else, I could easily see the textures and black eyes of its bark. I was getting bad vibes from it and I tend to rely a lot on my paranoid intuition. I stopped and paid attention to the area around me because I thought it might be my subconscious letting me know a hermit was nearby. I looked back and could see the birch with my naked eye, and focused toward it because something was off. At this point I noticed the entire area had been completely quiet when normally there were cicadas chirping, birds screeching, and grass moving around. I didn't notice when it had gone quiet but I could barely hear the river below when I heard it clear before. I saw that the tree was moving off in the distance, first I had assumed it was heat waves but when I looked through my binoculars I could clearly see it making an S-shaped bend, and then the inverse, back and forth in a bouncing pattern for what felt like a solid minute. I didn't take my eyes off it, but at some point I felt like I had missing time and it was gone. Everything was back to normal after. I finally get to tell this one. I'm not bullshitting either. This really happened. Be me. College, sophomore. Eating lunch in the cafeteria with college bro. College bro works for the cafeteria, but it was his day off. One of his co-workers came over to shoot the shit. We're all within viewing distance of this buggy that has toasters. Next to one of the toasters was this butter knife somebody left behind. While we're talking, swoosh. Fucking slides flies off buggy on its own. It floats for a second. It falls straight down to the floor. Me, college bro, and a cafe worker all saw it. Cafe worker freaks the fuck out and tells us the cafeteria is haunted by the ghost of a recently passed employee. Other cooks have seen plates fly off shelves and shit like that. She also tells me something about a psychic professor on campus who would fuck with his students by doing shit like that. A few weeks later, she comes back and tells me one of the campus police officers seen the footage of the knife and said there was nobody around to move the knife. Of course. My view on the world changes. Eventually, the skeptic in me comes out and I think that all this is some kind of elaborate prank by college bro. Skip to a year ago. Working the same on-campus job as college bro. Look into his leftover files on the work computer like the nosy artist I am. Finds one of his essays. Fuck it I'm getting paid to do nothing.mp4. Reads an essay and it mentions he saw a ghost in the cafeteria. Nope. My face when I caught the ghost of an old cook lady trolling her old co-worker. I hope that you enjoyed tonight's broadcast. If you enjoyed tonight's story, then please subscribe to the channel as more green texts will appear daily. A new broadcast will appear when the clock strikes. Midnight Central Time.